Hey guys, this is Tornar and today we've got some exciting news. It looks like ISO 8 is coming soon. Uh, now this is only a rumor, but it comes from the same source as my usual rumors. And that's usually talking about the next patch coming up. So I guess you can kind of guess that ISO 8 most likely might be coming in the next patch. Now keep in mind again, this is only a rumor. It might be pushed back again. It has been pushed back twice previously. But hopefully uh, we get it because I'm really excited for this system. I hope that there's been a lot of changes since uh, we did the playtest. Um, there were some things that were kind of a bit eh about it. It just felt kind of boring. But hopefully there's been some changes here. But all the information that I'm going to talk about here is basically stuff that uh, was from the previous playtest. Just in case you don't know what ISO 8 is. But overall, I'm pretty hyped for this. Um, I'm cautiously optimistic to see as to how it goes. So, basically, what is it? It's like a mod light system that's more like a new set of gear. You can see here, here's the matrix. So each character is going to have their own separate matrix and you put in an ISO crystal in. Now the ISO crystal is either going to be level one up to level five. And as you upgrade that, you can see here, they've got two ISO of each type in them. And then that has unlocked level two of the classes. So ISOs are going to buff your best base stats like Stark Tech does. It buffs health, damage, focus, resistance, and armor. Now there's no customization there. You have a health crystal, a damage, focus, resistance, armor on each character. And it's a certain percentage. There's not like random crystals or anything like that. Keep in mind, the crystals are random, uh, not in regards to stats, but they are random into what class um what uh, role they can fit into. So there's going to be like a brawler one, a, a protector one, etc., etc. And that's how they kind of um, make it harder to level up characters that you kind of want to level up because it's either going to be like you get a, a, an ISO crystal and it's locked into a class, whether that's ISO, uh, sorry, whether that's brawler, whether that's protector, etc., etc. Now, upon filling up all the ISO slots, you can choose a class. So once you get them all to level one, then you can choose a class. And there's a lot of different, there's like five different classes. And some of them are really cool and I really like their ideas. And some of them are a bit meh. They just don't feel that great. Um, now, as you advance this separate set of gear to new levels, you'll be able to upgrade your class as well. So it starts at level one, you unlock a base thing and then up to level five where you unlock some cool stuff. So there's some new mechanics as well. You can see here this kind of purpley mark that's marked. Uh, it increases the damage taken by 10%, I believe it was. And it's not like a normal debuff. It's more like charge. It doesn't go away or anything except for by you proccing it uh, or be, by being cleansed. Um, and it can't be cleansed in a normal way. It has to be cleansed through another ISO trait. There's also minor regenerations, which are a regen that does half the healing of a normal regeneration. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. So first of all, the first class is Striker. So it gives you extra damage, just straight damage. And it also means that when you do an attack on the primary target, if they're marked, you will do an extra attack, an ISO bonus attack, they call it. It's basically based off their assist or counter. So that's going to be strong on characters like Beast and Venom who have really good um, assists and counters in regards to like removing buffs and stuff. It kind of gives their team something that they don't really have, um, being able to flip more buffs and stuff. Venom, obviously you're not necessarily using his basic as much as like his special or his ultimate. So having that, uh, using like his ultimate and then flipping the buffs with his, uh, if he hits a primary target is great. And the same with Beast. Realistically being able to use his ultimate, uh, sorry, his special where he does the AOE damage, but also being able to flip targets at the same time is really great. Next is Fortifier. So you're going to gain barrier on spawn and on turn. And then on turn, you're going to be able to cleanse mark off yourself um, on uh, uh, on each turn. So it's going to be strong on like tanks, like some tanks. Not all tanks will go it. There's some that most likely will skip it or protectors. Um, for example, Invisible Woman most likely won't get it. Uh, Strife most likely want to take. We will not want to take this because he already gains a whole lot of barrier. But this will be strong on characters like Colossus and Yo-Yo who kind of want an extra bit of barrier to kind of survive a bit longer. Yo-Yo being able to have this means that she'll be able to protect her team more as well. Then there is Healer. So this increases your healers, uh, your character's healing abilities. It's called direct healing, they call it, but it basically increases the amount of heals that you do. So like, for example, Minerva's passive counters it and straight heals like Sinister's special. On turn, it's going to heal the lowest health ally 
clear mark from them and apply a minor regeneration. Now this is going to be great on characters like Strife who always like have mass amount of barrier so there's not really a need for him to have something like um, Fortify on him and also Sinister, ha Sinister having been out, being able to have more healing on each of his turns with his passive and he hurt more healing with his special as well. Next you've got Raider. So it gives you extra crit and extra crit damage and this is probably my favorite one. It was the funnest one to play with. Um, it, it means that all crits will apply marked. It's going to be strong on characters like Taskmaster and Wolverine. Taskmaster with his ultimate straight off the bat being able to have extra crit and extra crit damage on that. And then all of those crits will apply marked as well. And then you've got like Killmonger there with who can also be a raider. It's just going to be insane. And Wolverine obviously with his passive already gains a whole lot of crits. So having this is going to be really great as well for him. Next is Skirmisher. So it's going to apply Mark to the primary target whenever you attack. This is probably the one that I find the most boring. And then on primary hit, it's going to flip one positive effect if it's marked. Now, keep in mind that all of these have baked into them about 20% extra max health as well. However, there's not really like they're all across the, they're all even across the board. Some of them have extra stats. For example, the, um, the striker gives you extra damage and obviously the uh, raider gives you extra crit and extra crit damage but they don't have any extra stats in that tier 2 and tier 4 upgrades and then uh what else is coming so there's also going to be a new iso campaign it's going to involve scientist supreme she's basically the big guru behind all of this she's the one pushing for us to use the iso and stuff a new energy for the campaign as well and a new resource used for upgrading your iso 8. Uh, now I'm thinking that this is likely going to be coming next patch as I said that was the rumor that I heard was it's going to be coming soon um, but that also means that Dark Dimension 4 is probably not far off. I'm taking I'm guessing that this is going to be coming next patch and then the patch after we will likely get like uh, Dark Dimension 4 and Gear 15. Um, I think that they're kind of aiming towards having ISO 8 before those come out. So even if this comes out and then a the couple weeks later Dark Dimension 4 comes out, we're not entirely sure. But it definitely seems like that's kind of on the horizon. Along with Dark Dimension 4, we most likely have a, and Gear 15, we most likely have a, um, like a level increase up to like level 80 or something like that. So that way they can kind of, usually alongside a new gear tier, they add a new um, level cap. So I assume that that's likely going to be coming as well. There's a lot of cool stuff coming on the horizon. I'm really excited for ISO 8 to see how it can kind of um, change and like be theory crafted. I'm hoping that some of these are changed before they go live. Um, seeing as in the beta test, they were a bit a little bit underwhelming. For example, Skirmisher was a bit underwhelming. Um, and Striker I wasn't a huge fan of. Um, but I think that Striker has more opportunity to be great. While Skirmisher just seems really low. Even Fortify it doesn't seem all that great. Um, it he should like maybe give barrier to the team or something like that but i guess we'll see how it goes but anyway that's it for today um i'm really excited for this but i'd love to hear what you guys think down in the um down in the comments um i want to kind of know what your thoughts on iso 8 are and what your thoughts on the different classes are as i said i think raider seems really fun and i think there's going to be some really cool stuff that we can do with that um, and also the iso campaign do you think there's going to be requirements for it do you think you're going to be requiring needing mutant characters needing global characters needing cosmic or anything like that i'm sure they'll probably add some kind of requirements in there but i'd love to hear from you guys what you think but anyway i hope you guys had a great day um and bye